season. The barrage of gunshots caught on video is hard to forget. The shooting police believe was committed by four people who jumped out of two cars on a busy Gold Coast street, traumatized shoppers and killed Chicago rapper FBG Duck in August of last year. Thank you and thank you all for being here. Now more than a year later, Chicago police, the FBI and federal prosecutors announcing charges all against five men who they say are all members of the O Block Street Gang. That these five individuals, the majority of them picked up Wednesday morning near 63rd and King on Chicago's south side. The indictment also charges federal prosecutors getting involved because they say the group is responsible for an elaborate string of crimes connected to the shooting. Some involved drug trafficking and violent crimes to protect other members. The murder of rapper FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was believed by law enforcement to be one of the acts that helped with, quote, maintaining and increasing positions in O Block. Prosecutors also used social media and music videos to build a case. They say the men used both to publicly claim acts of violence, taunt rival gangs, and again, improve ranking and status. Chicago police and the feds today saying they hope this speaks to the public and those hoping to commit similar criminal acts. We are serious about our collaboration together the federal partners. There are now five people in custody who weren't in custody before. And now it's known to them and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. And federal prosecutors did not go into too many details about the arrests, including say the rank and file of these members within the gang. They do say they continue to investigate many connected crimes. Reporting at Chicago's FBI headquarters, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Right now, just across the fence. And I'm Brad Edwards, right to breaking news. A major development in the murder of a... Now, I'm going to let it play again for one more time for all the people in the room. But I'm going to just say, I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. You just heard it live and clear. They didn't just say duck one only. What didn't we just say they had to be sitting on allegedly other things too? You don't just go federal just for one string of thing. You got to prove this is an ongoing thing and it's hazard to the community to the point where the feds have to take over. You got to prove your case. So they sit on cases two, three, four, sometimes even seven years, gang. And depending how big you are, I, I done seen and heard about these guys working on cases for 15 years, depending how big you are. They want to take the whole criminal organization down but with with us let's just be real you don't need no 10 years they probably just needed three four years just like herbal situation you feel me people forget about that one you didn't see how long they've been watching herbal they told y'all that already now i'm gonna just tell y'all this is kind of spooky out here who talking to who now let's rewind this again pay attention to the details this is a serious case for them boys and remember the minimum that they could get is life in prison that's that's crazy breaking news a major development in the murder of a chicago rapper gunned down in the middle of the day in the gold coast cbs 2 stephen graves is live at fbi headquarters with this big break in the investigation hold on ellen rogers in the chat said the internet will convict you no dumb niggas on instagram get themselves convicted investigation stephen brad erica that break coming with multiple arrests of gang members those who were involved in what the feds say were multiple crimes throughout the city explaining that murder i'm gonna say one more thing and members who don't even trust each other telling on each other am i making that up we didn't seen so much of these guys allegedly telling on each other cooperating i mean it, it's only one outcome with this y'all that, that's why i tell you i ain't no thug i'm just a dude who carried a blicky to defend himself and his family and mind his business this other thing over here you can have fun being the gangster the biggest nigga and bodmon in the room i'm a top shotter but i ain't no bodmon i'm just a top shotter a dude with a educational purpose trigger play you feel me that's the only thing i'm about this other extra y'all could have all that dying for the next man who don't really love me i'm not even in there for two days and he got my girl already come on gang news a major development in the murder of a chicago rapper gunned down in the middle of the day in the gold coast cbs 2 stephen graves is live at fbi headquarters with this big break in the investigation stephen Brad Erica, that break coming with multiple arrests of gang members. 
Those who were involved in what the feds say were multiple crimes throughout the city explaining that murder in broad daylight they say was done for a reason. The barrage of gunshots caught on video is hard to forget. The shooting police believe was committed by four people who jumped out of two cars on a busy Gold Coast street, traumatized shoppers and killed Chicago rapper FBG Duck in August of last year. Thank you and thank you all for being here. Now more than a year later, Chicago police, the FBI and federal prosecutors announcing charges all against five men who they say are all members of the O Block Street Gang. That these five individuals, the majority of them picked up Wednesday morning near 63rd and King on Chicago's South Side. The indictment also charges federal prosecutors getting involved because they say the group is responsible for an elaborate string of crimes connected to the shooting. Some involved drug trafficking and violent crimes to protect other members. The murder of rapper FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was believed by law enforcement to be one of the acts that helped with, quote, maintaining and increasing positions in O Block. Prosecutors also used social media and music videos to build a case. They say the men used